All right, so everybody loves a good surf and turf, or at least I love a good surf and turf, but most folks, when they think of that, they think of maybe filet mignon and lobster or something like that. Well, for me, I would rather have pork and I'd rather have shrimp. And so I put together something that is my spin on a surf and turf and what really shows off the two zone cooking opportunity of the kudu here. So the first zone that we're gonna talk about is gonna be our grill surface. And it's gonna be nice and hot. We have this thing all the way down to the bottom. We have lots of coal. So we're talking about high heat right now. And we're gonna do that with one of my favorite cuts, which is pork tenderloin. So in my bag here, I have a pork tenderloin that I've put in a marinade and I've let it sit in a marinade for about six hours. Now the marinade that I'm gonna use today, what's really easy to mix up is what I have in front of me here. It's sherry vinegar, olive oil, sliced garlic, black pepper and salt. Very simple. You have to leave this in at least for a couple of hours. You could leave it in overnight, but I will warn you that I think it's actually best if you do it for about six to eight hours because this marinade is so aggressive that it can actually start to soften up the pork. So let's take it out of our marinade. We don't need to do anything from a seasoning standpoint or from an oiling standpoint since it's already in here. And let's put it right over our high heat surface. So when I pull it out, I love to kind of just clamp down and pull that excess stuff off of the side here. That way we're not splashing marinade all on the grill. We take this over and that sizzle and sear is exactly what we're looking for. So let's leave it alone. This is gonna take about seven or eight minutes on one side before we flip it over. So we're gonna pause here for a second and when we come back, we'll flip it over and we're gonna add the surf to our surf and turf. All right, so it's been about seven minutes or so. I think it's time for us to flip over our tenderloin. Remember, the tenderloin is really easy to dry out. So the name of the game here is taking it easy on it, but we do want nice caramelization. So there we go. I think that looks pretty nice. Just again, make sure everything is in contact with our grill surface. We're still getting a nice sizzle. We're gonna let this sit for probably another five, six, seven minutes, and then we'll actually spin our grill grate off here and let this pork tenderloin rest and then we'll put on our shrimp. All right, so our tenderloin is done and we can tell by squeezing it, we see just a little bit of juice beat up on the surface. That's perfect. So this is cool. Check this out. So we'll move our pan out of the way here for a second. We'll spin this pork off the heat, let it rest, and then swivel our pan right back over really, really high heat. And that's, I mean, just, I love that. Like just with the power of these tongs, We've moved like two cooking surfaces in and out. Like I didn't pick anything up. I didn't turn any of the knobs here. It's just super easy. And now we have what's called a plancha, which means basically a really hot iron plate. And we're gonna cook some shrimp in it. So in this bowl, I have peeled and deveined shrimp. And in this bowl, I have the marinade slash sauce for this. And what that is is smoked paprika or pimentone with a little bit of oil, some garlic, and some vinegar. So very similar to what went on our pork tenderloin, but with a smoky paprika flavor to it. So let's take our shrimp, sauce and everything, give it just a stir up here, and watch this. We're just gonna go right down on this. I wish you guys could smell this because it just smells absolutely incredible. No other grilling system is gonna give you this opportunity. I mean, we have an iron skillet over our coal, so we're getting the waft of that kind of wood smoke, but simultaneously, we're roasting seafood on an iron plate. I love it. So let's take about uh, 30 seconds to a minute. We'll let these cook, and then I'm gonna take them off the heat, and we're gonna plate this whole thing up and show you what it looks like. All right, guys, super fast. Our pork tenderloin is done, it's rested. Let's carve some of this up and take a look at it here. That's what we're looking for here. Still that nice rosy interior, see that, that juiciness? That's what you're looking for with pork tenderloin. That'll mean that this thing is not only tender, but it stays juicy, it stays flavorful. So let me show you a plate up here. Let's just take three slices of our tenderloin onto our plate here. And I'm gonna grab this plate and take it straight over to our pan, just make it easier on ourselves pull some of these awesome roasted shrimp off. I love this, by the way, that caramelization that we get on the outside of it, just incredible. Plus, you guys can't smell it here, but not only do we have the aromatics of the shrimp themselves, we also have that incredible marinade and we have that nice wood smoke. And when you blend those together, I mean, you're just in hog heaven. So garnish for this, really simple. Some more of our marinade for our shrimp, which I said doubles as our sauce. 
spoon that on just kind of around this plate. This stuff is intense. So a little definitely goes a long way. And then I like to add just a touch of fresh basil leaves, which is what I have right here. Just give them a little tear up and drop some leaves on here. Add a little bit of freshness to it and adds that kind of nice, sweet, basil flavor and that is it. We don't need to do anything else because anytime we're cooking over live fire, so much flavor comes from that that we gotta remember less is more. And so for me, a perfect Spanish style surf and turf on our Kudu Safari Bride.